Hey, you! I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. This is the truth. There's a lot of Christians misunderstanding of the book of Acts. Watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 13. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you the proper understanding of the book of Acts. Men and brethren. Now li listen, Williams, you're not listening. You're not listening. Right, this is the Bible. Listen to the Bible. Watch this. Amen. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. Children of the stock of Abraham. Everybody come from Abraham, right? Most nations come from the stock of Abraham, meaning the seed of Abraham, right? Ishmael. Some of them came from Ishmael. That's, that's right. That came from Abraham. Ishmael was Abraham's firstborn son. Right? So you with me, right? Watch this. So it says, men and brethren of the stock of Abraham, right? Everybody, right? That's our confusion so far. Watch this. And whosoever among you. And whosoever. That's phase two of our confusion. Read on. Spirit God. Whosoever and the stock of Abraham. That's, what, that's our confusion, which leads us to believe that this is for everybody, right? Right? I'm going to jump the gun for you, and I'm going to say, hell no. I'm going to jump the gun and say that, but what? I'm going to finish. Now, let's finish. Let's finish. Let's finish. Watch this. And whosoever among you uh -huh. feareth God, uh -huh. to you is the word of this salvation sent. To you is the word. What's the word of salvation? Jesus Christ. Right. And the gospel that he came to live. That's the word that was sent to the whosoever, right? He said, go ahead. Now go he back up. No, finish that. He came Verse 27. For they that dwell at Jerusalem. For they that dwell at Jerusalem. And their rulers. Uh -huh. Because they knew him not. Okay. Nor yet the voices of the prophets which are read every Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Now go back up to verse 16. Watch this. This is, the, this is where Christianity is taught and gets to receive the confusion that Christ came for everybody. Christ died for everybody. The gospel is for everybody. The kingdom of heaven is for every. This is where that confusion. Watch this, brother. I'm going to show you. Acts chapter 13. Verse Same chapter. Verse 16. Just a few verses up. Watch. Then Paul stood up uh -huh. and beckoning with his hand uh -huh. said, men of Israel. Men of who? Men of Israel. Uh -huh. And ye that fear God. Come on. Give audience. So. There's context in that. So when you hear the whosoever, this is a few verses before the chapter we read. That Christianity confuses often with everybody is to be saved. There's salvation for everybody. We don't go that far up in Christianity. Just like John 3.16. Uh, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But if we go a couple verses above that, Israel is isolated more than the context of everybody is who Christ loved or who God loved. We get context when we read it in context. Come on. First, listen to Williams. You believe in the Bible, right, brother? Amen. I think you do. So listen, I know I do. So listen to the Bible. I'm with you. You know you do. I believe you. Do. So listen to the Bible, Williams. You gotta study this thing constantly. Williams, listen to the Bible, brother. Come on. You. Verse 17. Come on. The God of this people of Israel. The God of this people, is Israel, read, chose our fathers. Chose our fathers. So now, what stock, what stock do you now read about, or what context of stock are we reading about later in the, in the chapter 26? I mean, in verse 26 of the same chapter. If we're talking about our fathers, what was, what was Paul? He was a Jew. Uh, he was an Orthodox Jew. No, he wasn't an Orthodox Jew. He was he a was Jew a, of the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. right. He was Thus saith the Lord. He was, he was a the, Jew of uh, one of the original Jews. He was. He was. He was a steady Jew. Paul, listen. He Paul, was steady Jew. Listen, what does the Bible say? Paul was. He was a steady Jew. Bible don't say that. Bible says that he was a. He was a. Paul was an Israelite of the tribe. Give me that, brother. Give me that. We go. I'm gonna show you what the Bible says. I'm gonna show you what the Bible says. Real fast. Williams. You, you, all right. All praise. That's all. That's all we gonna deal with. That's right. That's what, exactly. Exactly. Right. So that's why he says our fathers. Christ came and was sent for. Uh, uh, the promise that was made between God and our fathers. Our fathers. Ishmael, for starters, 
Ishmael, don't, for starters, does not claim Jesus to be their savior, brother. That's just you that want to say that that's their savior. I didn't say that they can. If they do, they do it to go. If they do, they, do, they can go in. If they do, they can come and be accepted. Right, that's not true. Oh! That's not true. We can get that out the whole Bible, too. You think that God gonna his creation and yes, gonna cut yeah, somebody it. from him? Yeah, we get that. Everybody yes, sir. Go, go ahead, read that. God the book, Williams, God. Williams, listen to the Bible. Read. Amen. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. The book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, has God cast away his people? Has God cast away his people? Now, who is his people? We find out, when you read the Bible in context, brother, without the chains and yokes of bondage in the mind, that includes everybody, including the people that took a whole nother people into slavery, including everybody that hates one race of people, when we put the Bible in the context, we start seeing the isolation that God is actually talking to. Just like if I'm having a conversation with my sister right here, right? And then somebody over there listening to it. Do that mean that what I'm saying to you got something to do with them? But wait, they can hear me though. They can hear me. It does not mean that it belongs to them. It does not mean that I'm talking to them. It does not mean that they now fit into what I'm talking to, talk, who I'm talking to. If you're talking to your family, through the neighbors next door, hear you through the window, and now they say, okay, we got an inheritance coming our way. That's for you and your family. They ain't got nothing to do with them. Don't matter they heard it. Come on. Has God passed away his people? Williams, you hear me? You with me? Hold on, bro. Let him listen. Watch this. Watch this. A lot of, it's a lot of, it's a strong yoke we got. First, we is in yokes of iron. Not a yokes of iron is in our minds. We are bugged out in our minds. We was taught Christianity by the same people who brought us in chains. Right. Once upon a time, you'd be put to death for reading the Bible. Think why? What's so harmful about reading the Bible? Come on, we gotta get back to the truth. We gotta get back to what's real. Come on. God forbid. Uh huh. For I also am an Israelite. So Paul says. God forbid the Lord cast away his people Israel, for he also is an Israelite, come on, of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed, Williams, there it is again, of the stock of Abraham. You with me? Listen to the Bible. Hold on, hold on, bro. uh, brother in the black, what's your name, bro? He's, he, he, I'm listening, he's, we are listening to you, bro. Okay, listen carefully, listen to the Bible. Okay, listen we're to listening Bible. to you. Of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul, according to the Bible, is an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin, of the tribe of Benjamin. He is an Israelite. Go back to Acts where we were. Go back to Acts where we were. Because ev everybody's got to understand Jesus the Christ. And I, this is going to be a shock to everybody. Jesus the Christ only came for those who now be called Negroes. Right. Yep. Guess what? You somebody. That's right. You are important, black people. Yep. Right. News flash. Hispanics, you are somebody. You are important. Right. That's right. God has not forgot about you. Right. He sent Jesus Christ to die for you and only you. That's right. Listen to the things you said. Come on. Uh, yeah, read 17 again. Acts chapter 13, verse 17. Come on. The God of this people of Israel. The God of who? of this people of Israel. Once you open your eyes, you're going to realize from the Old Testament to the end of the Bible, the New Testament, God is only talking to the Israelites. That's right. Many people have had their filthy hands on your records. It does not mean it pertains to them. It does not mean it belongs to them. Come on. Chose our fathers. Chose who? Our fathers. And guess what? Don't be confused. Abraham was who to see uh, followed by Noah was who the seed uh, transcribed through, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, transition to. And from Abraham to Isaac, from Isaac to Jacob, right. from Jacob to the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, That's right. why you keep hearing that word Israel throughout the Bible. Throughout, from, all the way in Revelations, he's only talking to Israel. Right. You don't see other nations in the book of Revelations. Right. But wait a minute, I thought Jesus died for everybody. So why is the, the last book of the Bible still only talking to Israel? Right. Why? Why? Come on, finish that and then officer, you come back. Yes, sir. And exalted the people. Come on. When they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. What people dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt? Who was that? Anybody know? 
the nation of Israel. Right. The right. nation of Israel dwelt and were as, as slaves in the land of Israel. I mean, in the land of Egypt, just like we're slaves in this modern Egypt, America. Right. The same way. The same way. Right? Watch this. We're finishing and then go to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. And with an high arm brought he them out of it. By the hand of Moses. So now he's going to begin to speak about, read on from there real quick. Now he's going to begin to speak about Moses and further establish the isolation of one people that he's talking about, Israel. Israel. If you are not an Israelite, Christ did not come for you. Right. Plain and simple. That's simple. Only a, a, a sickness called Stockholm Syndrome is the reason why us Negroes confuse that today. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.